Hello everyone, I am Naveen and with me Vikas is here today to present the topic Smart Grid Communication Technologies. In this video, we will have a brief discussion on what Smart Grid is, then the layers of Smart Grid and then communication layer which is one of the very important layer of the Smart Grid. So, Smart Grid is a concept for transforming the electric power grid by using advanced automatic control and communication technologies and other forms of information technologies. It integrates innovative tools and technologies from generation, transmission and distribution all the way to consumer supplies and equipments. It helps improve the efficiency, sustainability and reliability of the national smart grid. Let's see more about the smart grid in the upcoming slides. Grid versus electric grid. An electric grid delivers power to its consumers based on the demand where we had only one way interaction. That is, the grid will only deliver power and it will not get any feedback or any other measurement from the receiver end. Hence, whenever there is a change in demand, it is difficult for the grid to respond accordingly. So, there comes a need for the grid to act smarter. If the grid can get the data from the receiving end, then it can tune itself for an optimal operation. Hence, smart grid has two-way interaction where it sends electric power and receives electrical data. So, what smart grid does? It provides an advanced level of power generation, transmission and distribution. It actively monitors the system and balances the supply and demand. Therefore, it brings stability to the system. And also during the whole process, it ensures the security of the data collected and keeps it safe from the cyber threats. And also it helps in effective use of renewables. So when we look at the components of the smart grid, in a smart grid, Sensors and smart meter collect the data even from the remote location and communicate it to the control center through a wired or wireless medium. The control center uses the new technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning concept so that a grid can tune itself without any manual operation. So when we compare the smart grid with the previous grid which we had now, so this slide shows the comparison between the each layer of the grid that we had in the past and the grid which we will be having in the future. On the left side, earlier we had power, to power production only from non-renewable sources. The power system operation is completely taken over by a single body. It had a long transmission lines and its unidirectional system where the consumers are passive in the system. But now the power is generated from renewables and they are also added up with the grid. The market is re-regulated, -re which brings a lot of competition, innovation and many new policies into the power system. Instead of long transmission, it suggests the distributed generation. This system is bilateral, where consumers are also the active participants in the system. So, now let's see the layers of smart grid. There are three layers of smart grid. First one is the physical layer, which includes the transmission and distribution of power. Second one is the data transport and control layer and the last one is the application layer. It provides user services like user login, data monitoring, etc. Further in this video, we will be discussing about the communication layer in detail. So, why communication is important in the smart grid? Communications play a crucial role in development in deployment of smart grid, requiring them to be secure reliable and manageable. Since power system is very sensitive even for a small variation, the data communicated should be very accurate and precise. The data communication over the smart grid. Hence, the data communicated uh, is very, data communication is very important in the smart grid. The emerging smart grid requ system requires high speed sensing of data from all the sensors of the system and also all the meters on the certain grid must be able to provide the necessary information to the master head end within a very short duration. Therefore, the key functionalities of a smart grid are to detect the variation in the system, react according to the variation and proact to prevent the system from any, any damages. With the upcoming new technologies, Smart grids are getting smarter by the way how faster it detects the mismatch, how smarter it reacts with the problem and how it provides the better solution. All these functionalities are put under a common term called SCADA. 
now vikas will explain what is cada and give a piece of more detailed information on communication layer to start where navin has left scada scada is a supervisory control and data acquisition system it basically collect the analog and digital data from power system to communicate system through the communication basically it gathers the data like voltage current real power and reactive power and process the data and send the control signal control signal such as sending a tripping signal to the circuit breaker so basically when this is concerned communication becomes the major important role in case of a smart grid so layers of communication there are five layers of communication in a smart grid namely application layer communication layer class platform layer control layer and security layer so we will see briefly about each and every layer in the upcoming slides the very first layer of the smart grid is application layer basically it uh, able to connect the layer to the internet similar to our uh, google and firefox there will be a display in the dispatch center where energy power voltage unit consumption will be measured so there are some certain protocols for this application layer the first protocol is sml smart message language it sends response messages with no security it is a communication protocol for electricity meter that develop to exchange of measurement data the second protocol is dlms cosem it is used for smart energy metering as told before by navin smart energy metering it has a two way communication where it records the information like energy voltage current and power communicate the information to the consumer it will be giving clarity like how much power is being consumed and then how much power is being demanded by the customer according to that the generation station will be able to meet the demand so it has a both way communication the third protocol is zigbee it is a wireless technology developed for low cost low power application it is a wireless iot network the fourth thing is ansys c12.19 it is ieee standard it is a american nation standard for utility industry it is used for utility meter network of a smart grid the second layer is called a communication layer in this the communication is made communication layer handles connectivity and message routing between the remote devices to devices or route or between the devices or devices to the cloud this establish how iot message are sent and received by devices so basically there are two major protocol used in communication layer that is tcp ip protocol tcp protocol it manages the data exchange between the server to client whereas ip protocol it ensures whether the data reaches the destination correctly when we see the modes of communication basically it is done by wired or wireless communication when it comes to wired communication there are some examples like power line communication ethernet and optic fiber wireless communications are wifi satellite communication and cellular network so the third layer of the smart grid is cross platform layer it is able to use in different type of computer means if same set of layer running in one environment it can be pushed to different environment without recreation of the os so example data could be accessed in different operating system like windows linux or mac os so it can be made with the help of cross platform layer control layer so the main objective of the control layer is to deliver data from source to destination across multiple links it is same like the communication layer the same protocols tcp ip protocol is used but with some restriction the tcp protocol it manages the data exchange but it, they, there should be there should be the authentication for the server so it basically take care of the authentication and authorization of the data between the server to client coming to the last layer security layer since communication is the important aspect of the smart grid the data is being transmitted from one place to another so there is a severe threat for the data is being hacked so the data is encrypted from the sending side and decrypted in the receiving side so the act by hackers so to make this implemented there is two dedicated protocol ssl and tsl secure socket layer and transport layer security these two protocols are used to make the data secure and we are coming to the end of our discussion so this is our summary of our discussion uh, first we have started from what is a smart grid and how the smart grid is different from our traditional grid and how scada 
we are using in a smart grid to collect the data from power system and process it and send it back and how this uh, SCADA is getting communicated by means of different communication layer so these are the things which we have which we have seen in our PPT